A trip to the grocery store requires some planning if you want to save money. More grocery chains are turning to apps to offer coupons, but is the move causing a digital divide? The 13 Action News I team shares the story of one man's quest to make a change. Whatever you buy at the grocery store comes at a cost. Depending on where you shop, those costs might be higher if you don't have a smartphone. That's the case for Ed Wierzynski. It bothered me really badly. I mean, you know, very frustrated. Ed is 75 years old, retired, and on a fixed income. He frequently shops at the Kroger store in his neighborhood, but finds he's getting priced up because he's not tech savvy. There are plenty of people like me, you know, elderly people that have never learned how to use that. At Kroger, you not only have to have a shopper's card, but you need to log into your account through the website or the Kroger app and then digitally clip the coupons you want to use to get a bigger discount. How the heck am I going to generate a digital coupon when I can't even answer the phone? <laughs> Up until recently, Wierzynski didn't have a smartphone or a computer to digitally clip deals. So every trip to buy groceries is a gamble. Some of the stores would give you the discounts when you asked for it, but then others wouldn't. And I feel that's totally wrong because everything depends on the store and who you ask in that store whether you can get that discount. This time he came out on top, but it's not always the case. Grapes are shown $2.99 instead of $99. So all I got to do is ask. See, it all depends on who you ask, which store you're in. We reached out to Kroger about its coupon policy. A spokesperson tells the I-Team shoppers who do not have a digital account may receive the discounted pricing offered in a digital coupon by speaking to an associate at any customer service desk. On Kroger's website, the coupon policy says decisions are at the discretion of the manager in each store. At Meyer, there's an auto claim program where if you have enough points, the deals self-redeem. But the M Perks app still requires a computer or a smartphone. A spokesperson telling the I team, quote, we encourage customers that are interested in the program but don't have a smartphone or regular internet access to use provided internet access points throughout their area. This kind of haphazard policy doesn't serve consumers well. Edward Dworsky is a consumer advocacy lawyer and runs the website consumerworld.org. He says the issues happening across the country and low-income families and seniors are feeling the brunt. We're not talking about kind of a nickel or dime difference in price. It may be a dollar a pound, could be two dollars a pound, could be a dollar an item. That really adds up. Two years ago, Dworsky sent a letter to some of the largest supermarket chains across the country asking them to stop digital discrimination and come up with simple offline ways to help people get the savings. You know, once upon a time, supermarket shopping was easy. You go to the store, you buy the item, whether you knew it was on sale or not, you got the sale price. That's exactly what's happening at Seaway Marketplace in Toledo. They still send out paper ads and everybody gets the sale price. No smartphone or computer required. The pricing that you see on that sales paper on that website is exactly where you're going to see in the store uh, with no strings attached. No coupons necessary, no membership necessary. Um, it, it Just to cut down on the confusion for our customers to make shopping less stressful, to make shopping fun again. Stores like Meyer and Kroger, they do offer store shelf discounts. And if you shop here enough, you probably receive some paper coupons in the mail. Those are typically tailored to things you already buy using, you guessed it, data from your loyalty card. Uh, Ed is taking his concerns to the top. He's reached out to Kroger Corporate, urging the company to find a solution to the digital divide, and he's hopeful. Someday soon, his trip to the grocery store doesn't include haggling at customer service. Absolutely. You know, everybody can get a break instead of just individuals who's got the digital technology. This issue is getting some attention. In fact, lawmakers in both New York and New Jersey are considering bills that require an easy offline alternative to digital only deals, including automatically applying them to all seniors or any shopper out there without a smartphone. As for both Ohio and Michigan, there are no consumer advocacy laws currently on the books addressing that digital divide. Reporting for the I-Team, Christina Williams, 13 Action News.